Hi, I'm Rika Kovac, and I would like to give you a short intro into a new language feature introduced in C++17. So, uh, first, let me just ask you whether you have ever used uh, std launder in your code? One person? That's okay, that's nice. You're in the right room then. Um, so here I have a quote from a blog post from one of the participants of the June 2016 standards meeting. And I think it's a bit of an exaggeration, though by reading the proposal I can understand what he feels. But uh, here I want to show to you a really short and easy example. So. So here we have a little struct with two members in it, and we create a new object on the heap, and then we call a uh, place menu, and uh, we want to know the value of B and C, and here we don't have any problems, right? So they are just the values in uh, the object that we created in place menu. But, uh, does this change when we make one of our data members a const? Um, what do you think? Well, actually, if you're not reading the standard over breakfast each morning, you might be a bit surprised that this is now undefined behavior. And uh, the problem is that the, point, the old pointer that we used to create our first object is now no longer a valid way to access the object created in, in the second line. And uh, let's look it up in the standard. So it says that we can only use uh, our old pointer to access the second object if uh, it doesn't contain any const qualified or reference type members. So, how can we fix this problem? Uh, one solution could be to reassign the return value of place menu to our pointer. And this actually works. So, our B and C values are, are valid again. But, uh, are people really doing this? Uh, so this is a quote from uh, Titus Winters. He's talking about the Google code base. And as you can see, he says that 40% of the placement news that he found in the code did not use the resulting pointer. So that's a problem, right? And uh, to see why perhaps people are not doing this, let's say that we don't want to allocate our objects on the heap. So I remove that. And now we have a problem, because we don't have a pointer to reassign the return value of place menu to. So in this situation, we would have to create a brand new pointer. And uh, in real applications, uh, this could become a burden, you know, maintaining a brand new pointer everywhere, and it's not very C++ -y anyway. So that's when Stidlander comes in the picture, and as you can see, um, it kind of whitewashes your pointer so that you can use it to access your new object, and. Uh, now our, our B value is, is valid again. Uh, from the implementation perspective, it acts as a, as a barrier to compiler optimizations, because you know the compiler knows the standard, and it knows that if you have a const uh, member in your struct, then you won't be able to access your to to use your original pointer to access a newly created object. And so it will assume that your 
uh, alt pointer will always refer to, to the original object. And so any time that you try to use your alt pointer to access the new object, then it will just give you back the original values. And um, what do you think about the second line there? Um, is it now valid too? No, you're right. This is still undefined behavior. So this is something you should be careful with. Um, Studlander doesn't make any permanent changes to your object or to your pointer. So every time you want to want to access your new object, you need to uh, use it again and again. So a takeaway from this short introduction could be that uh, you need to be careful with place menu because there are situations where it might cause you problems. And perhaps uh, getting to know Stidlander is, is a useful thing, and you should do it. And here I have a few references if you're interested and want to read about it. Uh, the proposal is a bit dense, but the last paper is, is very interesting, actually. So thank you very much.